So Mac and Windows have always been the arch rivals. I mean, what are you gonna use, Linux? But which one's been the better platform throughout the years? So we're gonna go through 40 years of history and compare every Windows release to every Mac release and see which operating system comes out on top every Winker. round. And the platform which wins the most rounds is the clear winner. So come along kids as we put these two times of industry head to head and find out which one is a superior platform. Before you find out the winner though, make sure to comment which OS you think will come out on top. Get ready. Fight. So Windows 11 is, 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 okay I know you lot don't like it, but I do. I do use Mac OS Sonoma daily, but I also use Windows 11, so I am neutral. So why are we comparing Windows 11 with Mac OS Sonoma? Cause I happen to have it on my computer. It's not just laziness, okay? Apple makes like two changes, bundles it in a new release, and calls it El Nino or whatever. But Windows 11 is controversial, while Mac OS doesn't rock the boat. So who's gonna win? Ready? Go! So let's start off with Windows 11. Everybody's favorite operating system, guys. Ooh. Okay, now let's start off with Windows 11. Just ignore it, you saw nothing. You know, the UI is like much more um, tasteful. I think this design language is actually called uh, Micah. Mac, you rat. You know, Mac always looks a little, that's how I describe it. But Windows 11 also got a little, but it's got something. I am so articulate, guys. It's Windows basically runs on anything. Like Windows 10 will run on a fucking potato, bro. But then Windows 11 will run on your computer from like 2018. I was like, what the hell? Also, people were really, um, really happy with the start menu moving to the center. If you try to search Google Chrome, on edge it'll be like there's no need to download a new web browser microsoft is really like please please i beg so moving on to mac os also i didn't clear the desktop just because we're recording it was already clear what can i say guys i'm a clean person organized i do like this notification center though like how ios and mac os is integrated and apparently widgets are like a thing um ooh, whoa oh uh, shop oh uh, Already been fucked over, guys. Guys, let's check the stock, yeah, because I'm a businessman. I got business plans. Mac OS Sonoma is very cool, but nothing's really changed. So in the fierce competition between Windows 11 and Mac OS Sonoma, it's not like a competition competition, let's just be honest. Look, I like Windows 11. It's very stylish and modern looking, but given its massive controversies with the system requirements, the TPM chips, and the fact that it's still losing to Windows 10, I'm gonna have to give this round to Mac OS Sonoma. Get ready. Fight. Now Windows 10 is beautiful, magnificent, marvelous. You probably still use it. On the other hand, if you still use Mac OS Al Capitan, you're just broke. Like, make some money, man. Go to a charity or something. But we're not just looking at how they compare today. We're gonna go back in time. So let's rewind the clock to 2015 and see who comes out on top. Ready? Go! So welcome to Windows 10. Clear. Connected. Confident. That's not the slogan. But it should be. What is it the slogan for? Comment down below. Not me personally. I still use Windows 10 more than Windows 11. I've never actually opened the Microsoft Store. Let's see what's in there. Do I not have internet? Oh shit, I don't have internet. iCloud has 2.6 stars. Wait, you still can get iTunes? What the hell? The curse of la... la uh, fuck it. Oh, you can get movies as well. I didn't know there was all the... They, we have video games now? I just get them from Steam. Really, why didn't people like this game? Okay, I feel like we're getting sidetracked. Although one thing I will criticize Windows 10 for is I do not like the Windows 10 aesthetic. It belongs in a f***ing office. That's just ugly, bro. Why? Windows 11 is beautiful. And as we all know, it's what's on the outside that matters. Now, it's time for Mac OS El Capitan, which was the contemporary, guys. Yeah. I know fancy words. First of all, uh, points knocked for not having the duh chime. This does take me back to 2015 though. Like this is nostalgic. Windows 10 is not. You know, we got the launch pad. Been there, done that. It's still a good operating system, right? But will it stack up to Windows 10? Now, Windows 10's popularity is still ridiculous, while El Capitan has been lost to time. Because Microsoft has kept Windows 10 up to date with new features, while El Capitan still feels stuck in 2015, I've gotta say, El Capitan still feels dated in this regard. And also, Windows 10 is goaded. So I'm gonna have to give this round to Windows 10. Now, I, it's, it's not that, you know, it's... Bun Windows 8 is just a disclaimer, because I'm gonna get mad. Look, I'm gonna give it a fair shot, but... No, I'm not. Why does Windows 8 suck? Because Microsoft thought tablets were the future, so they made their desktop operating system tablet-like. 
Meanwhile, Mountain Lion was also inspired by tablet features, but it was more like, hey, let's add a launch pad. Hey, let's add more iOS features into macOS. So let's put them to the test. Ready? Go! It's time for nobody's favorite, Windows 8. Why? Why don't you make me do this? Oh, it fixed itself, but can you fix this bullshit? Nah, I'm gonna calm down. Ah! But, you know, the Microsoft Store was introduced here, which is, um, nobody fucking uses it, man. It's a useless feature. I hate full screen shit. I feel stuck. Like, I can't breathe. It's not gonna fucking load, is it? it? This might seem like it's arrow, but when you look closely, it's not. Like, look. See this? Yeah. But, you know, let's, let's, let's talk about the positives. The Two. Firstly, there's only two additions, Home and Pro. Oh yeah, I said two um, good things. Um, I don't know, whatever. There's not a lot of good things. I think this still looks better than Windows 10. That's the second good thing. There we go. How do you fucking shut down? Oh, there it is. But what was Windows 8 competition, you might ask? I'm so glad you asked. Mac OS 10 Mountain Lion. Ooh, that was a slick little animation. Oh God, this crashes the thing. This is not going to reflect poorly on the rating. Well, maybe a little bit, cause I'm pissed off a little bit. But oh, Jesus, why does it keep going back to this dumb resolution, man? Whatever. Oh, uh, we got, jeez, that is unstable, my guy. Maybe I should have used a real Mac. And actually I do have a real Mac. Why did I do it on Windows? I guess if we open any applications, it's just gonna fucking crash. So let me just not look, but don't touch. I like the old <laughs> system. You again. Man, this keyboard is sick, bro. I know this is not part of the review, but damn. Let me just not risk it and like shut it down before it crashes again. I hate Windows 8. I know we're supposed to be objective, but bun that. I'm a hater. Now Mac OS 10 Mountain Lion isn't like groundbreaking. I didn't even use it that much as a child, but it just wins by default because Windows 8 sucks. Boy, the nostalgia is about to blind you. 2009 was the year TikTok was released, Albania and Croatia joined the NATO, and oh yeah, Windows 7 versus Mac OS Snow Leopard. Now this is, we're, we're getting to a close match. Windows 7 is amazing, but so is OS 10 Snow Leopard. But that doesn't matter, cause both will get a fair shot. Ready, go! Windows 7. 10,000 points right there for the startup song. I don't see how people say it's outdated. It still looks fucking beautiful. Oh, let's try this rating. Rate this computer. Uh-huh, honey. Ah! Oh, be Oh, finally. What? That's pretty good. From a scale of 1.0 to 7.9, which is, I don't know why it's on a scale to 7.9. How much of the modern web technology still works? It still freaking works, guys. Our YouTube video is gonna play. And there's a chill in the fall air. And I'm a wee little lad. Dude, that works perfectly. What the heck? Damn. This, I don't know why it just makes me so giddy, yeah. But what about its competition? We're talking about Mac OS X Snow Leopard. The purple aesthetic is definitely... This is a slightly modified version. It doesn't come with U-Torrent, guys. It's a modified version of Snow Leopard. Should we dare to, like, up the resolution? We can't. I think we do have internet, but... Whoa! Google should load. Yeah, Google will fucking load on anything. It's far more unstable and outdated than Windows 7. Now, I like Snow Leopard, I really do. At the time, it was a groundbreaking operating system, but Windows 7 just edges Snow Leopard out in every regard. It still looks modern, it still feels snappy, and it still looks better than Snow Leopard. So Windows 7 takes this round. Now, 2007 was the year of rivalries. This was the East Coast, West Coast beef of computers, but instead of Deathstruck explaining that I f***ed your wife, we have an ad campaign which graciously pointed out why one is slightly better. Yeah, look, Microsoft f***ed up, and Vista, which was supposed to come out in 2002, came out in 2007, and Apple, well, Steve Jobs, didn't hesitate to point and laugh. Mac OS Tiger beat Windows to the punch with a lot of new features, but how does Vista compare to Leopard? Now it is time for my personal favorite, Windows Vista. Okay, we'll be back. It is very beautiful. Oh boy, this takes a while, doesn't it? And I'm back on my grind. Oh, I just can't be bothered. Ah! Bravo. This is, uh, YouTube? YouTube? I will not update my browser. So let us yonder down the way of what Apple was doing. It looks sick! Quick time for- <laughs> I love that old logo, bro. Okay. <laughs> that logo hit like three years later, bro. Now the looks department, I think I might have to give it to Vista. Mac OS Leopard was clearly more stable than Windows Vista. Yeah. 
I actually really like Windows Vista, and it's not like I was soured by the terrible experience in a VM. When it has all the drivers and shit, dude, it works. But Leopard was just more groundbreaking and had a bigger impact. Vista still wins in the looks department, but I'm gonna have to give this round to Mac OS X Leopard. 2001 is a year of remarkable change. We had changes in airline rules, which mostly meant I get randomly selected for extra screening. I didn't do anything, man, I swear. But the world of computing also exploded. But the world of computing also changed, with Windows making the widespread jump to Windows NT and Mac OS 9 making the jump to Mac OS 10. Both the UIs are popular, colorful, more lifelike. Now both took remarkable leaps, but who's gonna take this round? Ready? Go! Windows XP professional. I don't know why I said it like that. It's Windows XP. It's the aura. Of course, we could change the wallpaper, but why would you do that? Microsoft just perfected this. You know what I mean? Like, perfect. Final release, May 14, 2019. Ooh, Messenger. <gasps> I'm too young to have a Messenger account. If you guys are older, comment down below how it was using Windows Messenger. Tour Windows XP. Well, welcome to, to Windows, Windows XP from Microsoft. Microsoft. Is it just me or is this video really high resolution? Connecting to MSN. What is MSN? Yeah. <laughs> but let's see what the competition was doing back then. I had to get that sound in. Now we're gonna move on. So the competition for Windows XP was Mac OS 10.1. First thing we're gonna do, if we're gonna risk it, is up the resolution. That is actually shockingly high resolution. What? Did the computer crash? Which is not surprising. Okay, I guess we shouldn't put it on 1080p, but maybe let's try a, a lower resolution. Okay, that's broken. Look at this little brushed aluminum look, dude. That looks awesome. I know Windows XP is like very loved, but I'm gonna say this definitely looks better. We got the transparency effects way back then. Although this is one of the reasons why this is so unstable. Yeah. Now Windows XP is groundbreaking, no doubt about it, but so is Mac OS X Puma. The only difference is Windows XP hit it straight out of the park, while Puma was just a stepping stone to a whole new revolution. Both have their merits, but XP is just more stable and capable than the dodgy Puma build. So Windows XP yeah. takes this one. Now 1998 is a time of boy bands, the dawn of the internet, presidential scandals, and Windows 98 took full advantage of that. The internet, I mean not Monica Lewinsky, although the, the internet probably helped with that. This was also when Microsoft was getting sued for being too successful by the government, meanwhile Apple was starving. In fact, the whole internet came together and agreed not to pirate Mac OS 8.5 to save a dying Apple. Oh, isn't it nice when the internet is wholesome? But I will not be so wholesome in judging these two systems. Ready? Windows 98 from 1998. You probably knew that. Wow! Boy, I forgot I installed Netscape Navigator on this. What was the error sound on this? Is it getting better long to shut down? Yeah. Bro, what the? What the heck? Mac OS 8.5. Jesus, what the heck? So. Few points for having the startup sound, but minus 20 points for scaring the crap out of me. That looks very archaic, dude. If you didn't notice, Microsoft Internet Explorer. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's 50 more points gone. So there isn't even a program to open images. That's great. So apparently the focus in this operating system was color, because this is not that colorful. Let's just be honest. Yeah. Now Windows 98 was revolutionary in many ways. Meanwhile, Mac OS 8.5 was just Chugging along. Yeah, sure, it's got more color, but it basically hasn't made any strides since 91. While Windows 98 feels like a fresh coat of paint, so Windows 98 takes this one. Windows 95 really went balls to the walls. We had Jay Leno with Bill Gates. We had a billion dollar marketing campaign. We had Matthew Perry feature in a how-to commercial. Rip Matthew Perry. And it paid off, because Windows 95 dominated. Meanwhile, Apple's just chilling, you know, they haven't updated System 7 since 1991. They're busy, okay? They got cameras and gaming consoles that nobody really wanted. Tough times for Apple. Ready? Go! Windows 95. Okay, we do have internet, so... But speaking of groundbreaking features, the start menu, which, believe it or not, was started here. Is it gonna crash? Are we gonna blue screen Windows 95 by my art? Okay, that's enough. Man, things used to be simple back in the day. <laughs> It's like, now you can unplug it. Well, let's look at what the competition was doing. Okay, we're definitely docking points, yeah, for this bullshit. It says millions of colors, but there's like basically nothing. Can't lie, yeah. Windows 95 also feels like this basic, though. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. 
<laughs> that is creepy, dude. The 90s was just the era of Windows. Mac OS was really falling behind, and it shows. They were trying to make a major overhaul with the Copland project, which failed, and OSN was really the first big step up. Meanwhile, Windows 95 was the big jump we were waiting for. So Windows 95 takes this round. Now Windows 3.1, I don't know much about. Okay, we're getting in the depths of time now. We have no nostalgia for this. And if you do, you're probably 50, so. Nothing wrong with being 50, I'm just saying like. Now Windows 3.1 is quite primitive. It's just a graphical shell running on top of DOS, which was text-based, so we're doing better. Meanwhile, System 6 is just chugging along, you know? Things really took a nosedive at Apple after Jobs left, and it shows. So let's get on with it. Ready, go! Windows 3.1, that's it. That's pretty much. <laughs> Sub to make your tech. Please. You gotta see the the amount of effort I put into this yet. Yeah. How? What? Oh wait, maybe this is it. We just broke it. Well, let's see what the competition was doing. Okay. I guess this is system 6.0. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this feels even more archaic than Windows 3.1. Well, something just disappeared off the desktop. What the heck? Oh, uh, quit. Now, Windows 3.1 is bare bones, but so is System 6. However, there is no doubt that this is where Windows started to gain an edge over Apple. And thus, I gotta give this round to Windows 3.1 as well. Now, Windows 2.0 actually got Microsoft sued by Apple. This was like real beef. Apple sued Microsoft because Windows 2.0 had overlapping Windows, which was an Apple copyright. But let's just be honest, Apple was salty because Windows copied the GUI. They were just looking for an excuse. Ultimately, Apple lost the suit. But will they lose this battle as well? Ready, go! To Windows 2.0. <laughs> that was a quick startup. A little too quick. That's because it's shockingly basic. Lock.exe. <gasps> See, we got calendar.exe, which is to, you know, to calendar. To schedule your day, guys. To optimize. optimize. So let's see what macOS was doing at the time. So macOS was just chilling. Although, let's just be honest, yeah. Windows 2.0 was more colorful. Windows 2.0 is, I mean, it's got more color. But let's just be honest. Apple's offering is still far ahead of Windows at this time. Windows was still in its catch-up phase. And as such, I gotta give this round to System Software 4. Yeah, they're around, kids, because it's story time. So in the 1980s, Microsoft used to work for Apple, and they created PowerPoint, Excel, and Mail for the Macintosh. But Bill Gates saw that, oh, you have a mouse and icons and shit that you can click on. We could do that. So they did, and called it Windows 1.0. This led to the original East Coast, West Coast beef between Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, and the original rivalry between Apple and Microsoft, which is what I'm capitalizing on right now. So who will win this final round? Ready? Windows 1.0. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> so the revolutionary feature here is the mouse. Uh... So yeah, the general sentiment at the time was Windows 1.0 couldn't compete with Apple's GUI. Let's try clock.exe. That works, although that's the wrong time. Subscribe to me, please. So let's see what Apple was doing back then. So this is the Apple Lisa, January 1983. But this is technically like the first commercial GUI. This is a head, dude. Although, let me just say that the Lisa bombed, like commercially, it was a failure. Oh my God, how do you shut it down? I have no idea how to shut it down, dude. Okay, that was it, I guess. Ah, yes, the dawn of the OS. While Windows 1.0 is a solid showing, like you saw, there is a lot missing. It's just one window, nothing else. That it was Windows. Meanwhile, the Apple Lisa still feels shockingly modern. It's crazy how much of this format we still use. So there's no doubt that this round will go to System Software 1. Final round. So let's tally the rounds to see who finally won. So Windows took home six rounds compared to Apple's five rounds. So in the end, Windows will be crowned king. Look, I personally prefer Mac. I always have. And even though Apple really pioneered this industry, there's no doubt that Windows dominated it. Even when it comes to worldwide market share, Windows is a fair bit ahead. If Apple didn't lose their footing in the 90s, sure, they would have won. But it doesn't matter. I like macOS the way it is. But let me know in the comments your thoughts on this rivalry. Which one do you think is better? Or who do you think should have won? Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.